So today we're going to be talking about light and electrons. So more specifically, we're going to be talking about how electrons move in an atom and how that produces or generates light. So to start off, we're going to use a little analogy. So my analogy is going to start with a ladder. We're going to have a little guy that's going to climb the ladder. And you can see the rungs on the ladder. And in order to climb up a rung, he has to get enough energy to be able to make it up that rung. So we're going to provide that energy with a cookie. So we provide a cookie, he climbs up the rung. Provide another cookie, he can climb up the next rung. And as we continue to provide cookies, they provide the energy that our little guy needs to go up each rung. A specific amount of energy, a cookie, was required to get him to be able to go up each rung of the ladder. Well, if we change the ladders so that they look a little bit different, we could use a ladder that looks a little bit like this instead. And this time you'll see that the rungs on the ladder are different amounts of space apart. So to get up to this first rung, we're going to have to provide a very large cookie to allow him to have enough energy to get up there. This is a very small distance, so we're going to provide a small amount of energy, and he can get up to that rung. And so on. With each cookie providing the specific amount of energy needed for the distance that he has to go up on the ladder. Electrons are kind of doing the same thing. So as electrons receive enough energy, they're able to go up each rung of the ladder. Now we don't call these rungs of the ladder for our electron, we actually call these energy levels. As an electron receives a specific amount of energy, it allows it to go up to the next energy level. Now the term that we use for this is quanta. So quanta is a specific amount of energy. And you have to actually not just have enough energy, but you have to have precisely the right amount of energy in order for these electrons to be able to climb energy levels. So while ladders are a good analogy, in reality, electrons are climbing energy levels within an atom. So here I've got a Bohr's model of the atom. Now we know this is not a perfect model, but it's really good at demonstrating this concept and helping us understand it better. So my electron is going to start at the lowest energy level that it possibly can. That's going to be the one that's closest to the nucleus. And we call this first ring around the nucleus the first energy level. As you move outwards, you just count. So this is a second energy level, third energy level, and fourth energy level. So our electron starts here, and as it gains energy, it's able to move outwards. So how do electrons gain the energy that allows them to move outwards? Well, there are three main ways that an electron can gain energy. An electron can gain energy when heat, light, or electricity are introduced to the electron. And these provide the energy that an electron needs to move to an energy level that's further away, or a higher energy level. So as an electron, coming back to our ladder analogy, gains the energy it needs to move to a higher energy level, we say it has received that quantum or that specific amount of energy, it's going to move up. Now, sometimes electrons might receive enough energy to jump up multiple energy levels at once. And that is just fine as long as it fits that quanta or that specific amount from their starting energy level to the one that they go to. So what happens if our little guy's climbing the ladder and he falls? Well, if he falls all the way down the ladder, you can hear a large thump. If he falls just a slightly down the ladder, you'll hear a thump, just not as loud. Now we can demonstrate this. I've got some chapstick here. And if I drop it from a, just a slight height, you can hear a thump. If I drop it from a greater height, what do you expect? Well, if you listen, you can hear that there's more energy. And so the same thing happens with electrons. When they fall, the greater the height they fall from, the more energy they contain, and therefore the more energy they will release. So what do we call it when electrons fall and are releasing energy? Well, that energy goes in this packet of energy that we call a photon. So a photon 
is simply a packet of light energy. The greater distance an electron falls, the more energy it will release. Shorter distance, less energy. As they fall, they can fall all the way down or they can fall step by step. So as we can see, if an electron jumps down, it's going to release energy and it releases that as a photon. If our electron here jumps all the way down, it's going to release a lot of energy. Now blue is a wavelength of light that is higher in energy than our other colors that we can see with our eyes. So the electron, as it jumps down, might emit a blue photon. If it jumps in multiple jumps, you might see it emit a lower energy like yellow and another lower energy like red. So how does this relate to chemistry? Well, here I've got two different ladders. And you'll notice that there's different distances between the rungs. Now in atoms, there's different distances between the energy levels. And because of that, when the electrons jump and go up, they are taking in different amounts of energy. When they jump back down, remember that's when they release photons, when they come back down. By jumping back down and releasing those photons, because there's different quantas of energy or distances required, you end up with different colors of light being released from one element versus another. So maybe we could say this is sodium and this could be something like potassium. And you would end up with different colors of light that you could see. And therefore you can identify the element based on the colors of light that are emitted. So quick summary. Electrons jump up when they receive energy in the form of heat, light, or electricity. The technical term we use for this is that the electron gets excited, and when you're excited, you jump, right? And so heat, light, and electricity can cause the electron to get excited and jump up, and that causes it to increase in energy levels. When it jumps back down, it's going to release that energy as a photon. And that photon will be a specific packet of energy that corresponds to the distance or the amount of energy the electron jumped. And then finally, every atom is going to have a unique distance between its energy levels. And that will correspond to a unique pattern of light that will be emitted from those atoms when their electrons get excited and then jump back, releasing that energy.